Okay, let's get back to, well, I'm gonna keep doing it. Eventually it's gonna be tropical storm. Subtropical storm, Nicole. This is it here, but what you need to see is the wind all the way out and around. This is blowing water now across the eastern part of the state of Florida. That's a coastal flooding issue, right? It's just pushing this water up there. This is only gonna get stronger and come in this direction and then pull more water. So really from Cape Canaveral, especially up through St. Augustine, you know St. Augustine floods quite a bit. There's gonna be some decent flooding. We're thinking three to five foot including inside the St. John's River as this comes on shore. Here's the track, as far as we're concerned, that's a 45 mile per hour tropical storm weakening as it comes in our direction. Then it turns out here, this is late Thursday night into Friday morning. That's Friday afternoon there. You can see up into Georgia, and then it's moving up across the southeast towards the mid-Atlantic through the day, uh, Friday night into Saturday. Watches and warnings. We have those hurricane warnings for the uh, northern uh, uh, Bahamas. We also have the Hurricane watches in purple here. That's for the southeast coast of Florida. We actually have in our neck of the woods, Sumter, Polk, Hardy, DeSoto, Highlands County, tropical storm watches. What that means is watch means tropical storm force winds are possible within 48 hours. That watch should get extended back out to the coast, probably about 10 o'clock tonight. Storm surge will be the main issue over on the east coast, along with the wind, of course, three to five foot, especially from Jupiter northward. We could be looking at two to three just because if it gets here, there'll be some wind on the back side. That number's probably pretty high, but it's something that we can get prepared for. It's just not a major issue for us. The thick red line right there is the Hurricane Center track. They're kind of on the southern end of some of these tracks, but you notice a lot of them are in really good agreement coming through the Bahamas. That should continue. We should get some shifts, but we should get pretty good agreement continuing. So we want it to curve and not really come out over the Gulf because we don't want it to strengthen at all and give us more wind. And we want it to do pretty much what they're thinking it's going to do.